middleweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the red corner, the challenger, the WBC super welterweight champion, fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, weighing 159 and three quarter pounds. His professional record consists of 40 wins, one defeat, with 34 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Thomas the Hitman Kern. Rockton, Massachusetts, weighing 159 and one quarter pounds, with a professional record of 60 wins, two defeats, two draws, and 50 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, marvelous Marvin Hitler. I'm just cautioning you now. Obey my command at all times. Shake hands, don't let the boat fight. Let's go. Very simple instructions. And finally, it's Hagler against Kearns. The camera's going to go. Eloquent simplicity by Richard Steele. Let's go. He knows, they know. Staring at each other through the national anthem. Stare down, of course, so customary before these fights. And here we go. Round one. Hagler, right off the bat, attempting to get inside. He'd love to be able to pin Hearns on the ropes if he can. A more aggressive start by Hagler. Look at him right for the body. Robert Hagler only wants the body. He bangs Robert. Oh, Hearns slammed Hearns with the right hand. Hearns with the other right. Hearns hits him with an uppercut. Hagler, he's hurt. Hurt. Hagler is done. Hearns got inside. Hit him with a right uppercut.
I believe, for that uppercut from Tommy Hearns. That was early in the round, but now later. Marvin Hadler digging to the body and throwing a right hook. Fought most of that round as expected. All of it is a southpaw. He took the action to Hearns, a surprise early. Well, the first round lived up to all the height, and then some. Round two now. Oh, oh it's up. left hand by Hadler. They said this fight would be determined on heart and the good shin. Right now, that's exactly what it's being determined on. Both men have been hurt. You can throw the you can throw the strategy out the window right now. <laughs> A wild first round, turns again, trying to uppercut. Turns trying to box, moving, moving, slipping off the ropes, coming back and trying to land that right. They are yelling, keep boxing, Tommy, from his corner, and that is looks like what he's going to try and do in this fight. Turns off balance, off balance, his foot was stepped on, not Handler, close to a knockdown. Excuse me, Al. Handler turns righty. I think this could be a key moment in this fight. For the first time, Hagler switching, gets in with a left hand. This round sort of, the way people anticipate the first round yes. might go. Another right hand, stun turns. The crowd, of course, emphatic over every punch that's thrown. Hagler, despite that least disadvantage, has been able to get into her, and more so I think most people expected. For one simple reason, good left hook by Hagler. He took the best hand Hearns could offer, and he did come in. He's, he's getting through that right hand, even though he's getting hit with it. Halfway through, round two. Hagler has fought most of this round as a righty. Now he quits the southpaw and lands. Not as effective as a righty as I thought, but now as a southpaw, the jab lands well. That right jab. Hagler coming in with a left. Get your shield saying, punch your way out, punch your way out. A key element now is Hagler is working when he's on the inside. He's not just holding. He is working the body of Tommy Hearns. Boy, Hearns looks awkward. His leg looks like they're not there. A little rubbery here in round two. Tommy, the fluid is moving. Trying to get inside again. The cut opens up over Hagler's forehead. And the blood begins to trickle down. Hagler working inside now up top. Half a minute to go in round two.
as he again becomes off balance. Some thought that if, if Hearn stayed outside and stayed on his bicycle, it would become a dull fight with Marvin chasing him. But Marvin has been able to corner him, and when Marvin gets him in the corner, he is roughhousing him well. Again, Hagler is all bloody. Time is called by Richard Steele to send Hagler over to the ring doctor. He's calling the ring doctor in. The last thing in the world Hagler wants is the fight to be stopped. The doctor looks at it. Back comes Hagler with a wild left hand. It has to be impeding his body with the right eye. You never know what to Tremendous right. Hearns appears rubbery. He appeared that way in the second round. You know, Richard Steele is breaking these fighters very quickly. That's uncharacteristic of him. It's hurting Hagler because he wants to work inside. Hearns is smiling, but he's taking shots. 